Welcome to Burn to Learn. This is Rod Davis. Have you ever waited for a very long time for an important email that the sender said they sent it already, but for some reason you haven't received it yet? In this video, we will show you how to manually or automatically speed up the send and receive function and solve this problem using Outlook 2016. Let's begin. When you open Outlook, you will be on the home page. Now I want you to go over and click on the send and receive function and let's see what this is all about. When you click on send and receive, these are all the buttons in this section that allow you to manually move and send and receive items in your various folders. So when you click on send and receive all folders, everything in these folders will be refreshed. This means all email, mail messages, calendar appointments, and tasks in these folders will be refreshed. When you click on update folders, first we want to choose a folder, and we've chosen the business folder, and then we get a, a message indicating that it's being refreshed. And all the messages, calendar appointments in that folder you selected will be refreshed. Now, when you click on send all, this means that every unsent mail in your outbox will be sent. So you see we have two in our outbox. Let's click on it and there is the signal that it's being sent. We go back to our outbox and sure enough, it is empty. We just showed you how to send and receive manually. Now we will show you how you can do that automatically. Now first, click on send and receive groups. When you do that, this system is defaulted to zero in the All Accounts group because we only have one account. But if you had multiple groups, uh, that number of multiple groups would appear as two, three, or four All Account groups. If you were to click on the Inbox, the things in your Inbox would refresh. If you were to click on Download Inbox Headers, the same would occur. Or if you clicked on process marked headers, then all those would also refresh. What we want to do is scroll down and click on defined send and receive groups. When you do that, you get an instruction box. There are several things you can do with all the accounts you have. You can mark them as new, you can edit them, you could copy them, remove them, or rename them. But we want to show you how you can customize the speed with which you receive and send emails. So in the next section, you can see if you click the very first blocks, actually it defaults to that. This includes this group. When you click the next box and it defaults there too, it allows you to schedule automatic send and receive. You can see it says defaulted to 30 minutes. Now we're going to change that because we're very busy and we can't wait 30 minutes. We're going to change that to one, just one minute. Now, if we click on the next one, this will perform this function automatically every time you exit Outlook. Now in the next section, when you go offline, it defaults to the first box there, includes this group, but we want to look at the second box. When you click on this, we can schedule a send and receive automatically at every 30 minutes or less. We're going to change that to one minute. Now let me give you an example of wh why that's important. Let's say you go on a vacation and now you come back. Now you're determining how quickly you want to receive any emails that were sent to you or you want to send emails if they're still in your outbox. So we've decided we want to get it in a hurry, so we set it for one minute. Now, when we click close, all of these settings will take effect. But if you ever wanted to change your schedule, you just go back to send and receive and scroll down to the very last entry there, which is disable scheduled send and receive. If you click that, all your customized settings go away. If you change your mind, you can just click send and receive groups again and repeat the process we did. Don't forget to leave a comment below to let us know what you think of this video. Also, 
please help us by subscribing. And if you would like to support Burn to Learn, please visit our Patreon page by clicking the link below. In our next video, we're going to show you how to use download. Thanks for watching. See you next time.